Hi, it's Paul here at Dapper Rocks, and today I'm going to discuss adding slide notes and portamento notes to your musical score. Before I do, in classical composition, there's a thing called glissando, and what that means is from the French word glisser, meaning to glide. And composers can write glissando into their musical pieces to tell the musicians that they want them to change pitch by sliding from one note uh, to another. Um, but there's another thing with English ando called portamento. The difference between the two, if you if you uh, follow what uh, musicians argue over on the subject, is that glissando tends to be a longer slide. It tends to be when you slide from uh, one note and maybe go up four or five pitches or half tones, but go up four or five half tones. And as you go up, you sound out each half tone as you go. So although you're sliding, you're still clearly sounding out the notes. So that's a glissando. A portamento is more of an interpretational thing, where the musician, I think it's written into the pieces less, but the mu musician just adds a tiny slide on the end of a note as it goes into the next one. And, you know, it, typically, therefore, portamentos are much shorter than glissandos. All right, so that's supposed to be the difference between the two. Now, as it applies to FL Studio, I've put two notes in here. One's a regular note, if you look at it, but the second one has got this little triangle symbol at one end, and that means it's a slide note. Now, you get a slide note by coming to the top of the play roll here and clicking on this symbol. So if I click on that now, the next note I put in should be a slide note, and it is, so I've got that little symbol there. It's worthwhile knowing that there's a shortcut for both the slide notes and the portamento notes, which are um, S for slide, so that's easy to remember. So I'm turning that slide uh, symbol on and off by pressing the on uh, the S key off and, off and on. Uh, and similarly with the portamento symbol, if I press the O key, that goes off and on as well. It's worth remembering those shortcuts if you um, you know if you're going to use these notes frequently so let's look at what happens when I play these two notes and we immediately notice a problem there the second note doesn't sound um, there's some confusion over this if you look at YouTube videos and I'll explain what the confusion is later but the way you're supposed to operate these notes is you have to have the slide note over or above the note that you want to slide from. So if I move this note in a bit, now we play it, now you'll hear a short slide. Okay, you heard that, now move it further in, and the slide gets longer. Let's accentuate this by um, increasing that. Okay, so that's how you put a slide note in. It has to be over or under. Now you can do things like this. I can shorten this note. So now it's the A is going to play and it's going to slide up to G. And then if I make a copy of that note and pull it down, it's going to start off as an A, go up to a G, and go all the way down to a D. Now listen. The last thing I could do, or another thing I could do, is I could make a copy of this note and put it on top of the G. So now what it should do is, in three deliberate steps, it should go from A up to G, back to A again, and then to D. Okay, that's how to use slide notes. The... Um, and one other thing I'll tell you before I go on. If you go to the options key at the top here, click on that, come down to uh, general settings, and in general settings you've got this option here that I've already got, or sorry, this option here that I've already got turned on. Click and hold and special gesture functions. So if I come out of that, what does that mean? If I click with my mouse and hold, you'll see, a, let's see how long it's going to be, let's make it longer. So if I click and hold, you'll see at the end of the note, the symbol changes from regular to 
uh, slide into portamento. I think it's that in order, in that order. Let's see. You see that? So because I've got that option selected from the um, the general options menu, I don't actually have to come up to these symbols to to create those notes if I don't want to. I can just use a shift and hold on my mouse. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. There's something else I should tell you about this, and that is in FL Studio, uh, slide and portamento notes are only supposed to work, or only do work, with native instruments, i.e. instruments that have been built into FL Studio. If you buy a plugin, some other instrument that hasn't come from ImageLine, then slide and portamento don't work in the normal way. And the way the manufacturers of those third-party instruments sometimes get around this, or you know, generally get around it, is they put a slide control in their instrument controller. And that slide control then reacts to the notes that have been put into the FL Studio score. So sometimes you'll watch a video on YouTube and the guy doing the demonstration will say, okay, I put a slide in. And what he does is he does this, puts a slide note in there, and it works. And you think, I thought that wasn't supposed to work if, unless you do that. Well, the reason is he's not using a built-in instrument. He's using a third-party instrument, and he's got a slide control in his uh, controller. And there is one other instance where it doesn't work in the way that I've described, and that is if you're using um, a sampler. So just to demonstrate how this works in a sampler, here's a sample. Come on. If I open the piano roll for that, um, you'll see that the uh, slide is well outside of the sample note, uh, but it still works. Watch or listen. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So that's an exception to the rule. If it's within a sampler or a third party instrument, then things work differently. But in native FL Studio, you have to position the uh, slide note in the right position. So let's move on to um, portamento notes. Here in the piano roll, you can see I've got five regular notes, which haven't got a slide or portamento attached to them, and then five portamento notes. Um, so I'll play them. So you should be able to tell the difference uh, between the two. You should be able to hear the portamento there. Sometimes, depending on the instrument, it's very subtle. You, you really struggle to hear the portamento notes. But actually, you do have some control over it. Um, every instrument comes inside an interface software called a wrapper. That's the Citrus synth as you'd normally see it. But if you go into the settings control here, and then click on the, well, you don't have to click on the wrench. There it is, that, that's the wrapper. All instruments come within this interface software called the wrapper. Now you see in here, there is a button you can turn off for slide and a time changer as well. So although Portamento, whatever you do, remains fairly subtle, you can increase it or decrease it by turning slide off. So I'll turn slide off, you can still hear the difference. <laughs> Turn slide on, you can hear more of a, a change, and if I turn this time uh, knob up, you hear more still. Okay, so I think that's it. That covers slides and portamento in FL Studio. I hope that has helped, um, and if it has, please do subscribe because we're adding tips all the time. Give us a like because that helps us on YouTube as well. Thank you for listening and I really wish you the best of luck with your music.